good morning dear students welcome to this video class today we are going to have essay writing we will write an essay in today's class it is the topic is given here explain how your mother has influenced your life refer to re relevant incidents or relate to appropriate anecdotes to show how the action of your mother and her example have affected affected your life this is what is the topic you can take down and you can uh, write we will discuss the points now mother is the most important person in every person's life okay we are very closely associated connected with our mother during the course of our life certain things happens in our life as a result some of us get separated from our mother in the sense we do not like her we try to keep away from her we do not help her out and all those things as part of the negative or bad things that happens in our life and as part of good things that happens in our life we become more closely associated more affectionate we are ready to do anything for her we we understand her very well we praise about our mother in front of others and all lot of things but that is based on the life that we have but otherwise mother is the most important person now we do all these dirty things mother does not have any grudges to us we have had ample examples or we will have if we look into the history where we, even in very painful situations our mothers come to help us even when we have rejected her very badly when she comes to know that we are in trouble she is at our help that is what is the mother that we have everything for us in this world if we can put it in one sentence that's the experience of mother that we have certain things that we have learned from her remains life long and that helps us to remember our mother even after the death her that okay the experiences that we have okay now here what we are to do is that to explain about our mother okay now when we talk about our mother okay she is a very genuine person very loving and affectionate person always ready to accept us if we make mistakes she forgives us and she corrects us even if she doesn't have enough to eat she feeds us stomach full even if she doesn't enjoy the pleasures of life she tries to help us to enjoy or tries to provide that for us so always a kind of provider protector okay disciplinarian when we make mistakes or when we do things repeatedly that which is not supposed to be done or building up good discipline in us guiding us this is how it is to be done this is how it is not to be done you should not do this you should do this once in a while punishing us after punishing regretting for having done that feeling sorry about it when she see us see us struggling struggling in life and uh, uh, what do you call always at our help that's the type of mother i have sometimes you no know, some uh, bad things happen in the house she manages her profession her duty as a housewife and she makes everything ready for us if you take the life of a mother in um, a day's life 
Okay, she gets up earlier than everybody in the house. She cleans up the house. She gets ready to send the children to school, husband to office and for her to go to office because she is also a working woman. And she manages the affairs like that in the morning before she leaves home. And she reasonably well does her work in the office. She comes back tired like anybody else. There are even people, children or husbands waiting at home, not willing to take and drink a glass of water from uh, uh, that which is kept inside the house. They wait for the mom to come and uh, take it and give. So she comes home tired and uh, as she comes, now she becomes a different. So far she was a, a staff in an office working, uh, maybe doing some white collar job. Now she comes back, changes her dress and changes her lifestyle too, like a housewife now. She serves everyone at home. If you or somebody else hasn't reached, she keeps him for him or her, whatever is required. Then only she looks into her personal needs. Then she has to prepare the dinner, again wash all the vessels, make the beds ready, all lot of things every day in our life she does. Fine, now suppose uh, father is very badly sick or met with an accident, admitted in the hospital. Without any worry she manages, since she is a working woman she can manage the finance quite well. And uh, since she is an outgoing person she can get help from and she knows where to go, how to go, what to do and all those kind of things. So for the need of the person who is admitted in the hospital she is able to manage that. And then back home, we children who are there without any difficulty, without any grumbling, without, without any sort of uneasiness, she manages that and she individually helps each and every person at home. Suppose I have had some trouble today at my office or in the school where I am studying, okay, I come back home very upset. And the moment she sees us, either her husband or the children, she can very easily make out our mood, that we are off mood, something happened. She sits with us, finds out what is the reason behind it and somehow try to solve and stand with us for those bad moments so that we will overcome without any difficulty. So this is, if you look into a mother's life or what a mother to us actually. Again, if there are some problems with the neighbors at home, it is she who takes the first hand interest to try to approach the concerned people, try to solve it, build up good relationship. And uh, what do you call she, her life is itself is a good example. She indirectly tells us to learn what she leaves so that we will not have any problem tomorrow. We will be able to solve, stand on our own uh, legs. She cannot, I mean, uh, she, she, if she finds something to be done and it is not done, she probably doesn't complain, she doesn't tell to anybody. She on her own reaches to the place or uh, do that thing and leading the spirituality or religious life of the house. It is in almost all the family it is, families, it is the mothers who take initiative, visiting, going to churches or temples or mosques, uh, I mean attending prayers. Uh, try <coughs> teaching us to pray and telling us to pray before we start to do anything. Okay, wanting to do the holy readings, whatever related to your religious life. Okay, then being sympathetic to other people when we see other poor, sick, needy people. It is she who does something to them first, probably, and then teachers tell us this is how we have to handle or do to this kind of people. 
we should never look down upon them we should always try to help them we should pray for them all this we learn from our mother so what finally i would like to say is my mother is everything for me in this life on earth nobody nothing can replace her in my life no one could be so close as she is to me so inseparable a relationship that me and my mother has okay so listen to this video and think about it and write your essay okay fine